The sun powers all life on Earth through the process of photosynthesis. Plants use sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air to create sugars in their leaves. The plant then stores these sugars underground in the root in the form of starch. While the plant is storing starch as a food source, we as chefs can also take advantage of some of starch's properties to create delicious food. Starch is a polymer of the sugar glucose, but can be put together by the plant into two forms, linear amylose and branched amylopectin. Starch is stored in granules formed inside plant tissues. When heated in the presence of water to about 80 degrees Celsius, the starch granules start to absorb water, inflating them to many times their original size. This process is called gelatinization. Hydrogen bonds that were originally between starch molecules in the granule break and new hydrogen bonds form with the water that enters, separating the starch molecules and expanding the granule. Some of the linear amylose chains can leach out of the swollen granule into the solution. When shear force is applied to the swollen granules, they rupture, spilling their contents into the solution. It is both the granule swelling and the leaking of amylose that thickens the solution of gelatinized starch. The swollen granules, granule fragments, and amylose leached out form a tangled meshwork that binds to and slows the movement of water molecules, thickening the solution. If this meshwork is very robust, water molecules are immobilized and a gel is formed. As a starch-thickened solution begins to cool down, Molecules move more slowly and get closer and closer together. Over time, the starches begin to reform starch-starch hydrogen bonds, firming the texture of the gel and displacing the water that was coating each starch molecule, which will then weep out of the gel. This process is called retrogradation. Because it is linear and can stack closely together and make many starch-starch hydrogen bonds, Amylose is very prone to retrogradation. Branched amylopectin, due to its shape and inability to easily line up with neighbors, retrogrades less. Retrogradation leads to a type of synteresis where water that was trapped in a gel escapes. It is responsible for the liquid leached out of starch-thickened sauces or desserts. Retrogradation is also responsible for the staling of bread as the rebonded starch molecules firm the bread's texture. Retrogradation can be reversed by reheating, which breaks the starch-starch hydrogen bonds and allows water molecules to reestablish bonds with the starch molecules. However, on cooling, the starches will retrograde again. An understanding of starch and its behavior allows for the production of thickened sauces such as velouté, gel desserts such as pudding, or crispy treats like crackers.